Hello, my name is Lindy Hoff. I am a United States taxpayer. I am also the former clinic director for a general psychiatric practice in Helena, Montana with the psychiatrist uh, Charles Ellis. He is not only just a psychiatrist, but a board certified addiction medicine specialist. During the time that the psychiatry practice was open, one of the things that uh, we were charged to do, uh, Dr. Ellis saw veterans. He evaluated and diagnosed them for traumatic brain injuries. This was heartbreaking because these men and women came through the, the practice and told their tale to Dr. Ellis where they were subjected to atrocities, being blown up by IEDs, um, whatever. But it was, they endured various levels of, of trauma and it was his responsibility to evaluate them and give a diagnosis of either yes for a TBI or no. And from there, they were either going to be given treatment for uh, at various levels for their traumatic brain injuries. He is now continuing to do that work all the, across the country. And it's, um, it's a very, very important work. Throughout this time, he's realized as they came in that um, a lot of the symptoms he himself actually uh, had. He's an active guy. He's also my husband, by the way. <laughs> um, and so as they told their tale and described what they were experiencing, he realized that he himself had some of those symptoms. He's rock climbed, he's been a sailor, um, and very, very on a mild level. So in 2015, he thought, you know, I'm gonna go get a neuropsych eval. And so he did and he himself was diagnosed with a very low level TBI. He'd been realizing that he had some of these symptoms and he had, was in a plane crash in 2011, which was the last uh, experience that, that really made him realize that he, he needed to pursue some, um, some treatment, but what treatment is there for a TBI? And so he, I, I watched him try to find out, you know, what do I do? He knew the pharmaceuticals was not the way to go. Um, I mean, he's, he's an MD himself. And so it was pretty much supplements. And at one time, I, you know, I agree if our kitchen counter had tons of of bottles and, and so he was trying the naturopathic way and so there were supplements and of course uh, then there are other ways maybe Botox for um, headaches and he saw he had patients who were pursuing that and he watched those things not work uh, through other patients and he researched and researched. Finally he came upon um, HBOT or hyperbarics and he did an inordinate amount of research on hyperbarics because this seemed to be something that that might really really work all of the research that he read about seemed to make sense and he became very very enthused and so um, he started calling around and he called Seattle, and if for physical injuries, it, it, it was obviously working, 
and was um, accepted. Um, for traumatic brain injuries, uh, it, it seemed to be not quite accepted but um, by insurance companies and those types of things. But when he started talking more and more to people, it, became, it was more accepted. It just wasn't being accepted by insurance companies. And so he decided he would, he would try it. I saw a huge difference. He started getting treatments. He decided to go to Haley, Idaho with Phil Rainey uh, to Sun Valley Hyperbarics. And he himself felt a huge difference. I saw a huge difference. Uh, he had mild symptoms. He didn't have any of the symptoms that, that were as drastic as a, a lot of the veterans that we saw in private practice. But I can honestly tell you, I saw a huge difference in my husband, his, his mood, his mood swings, his short-term memory. Um, it, it, it made a big difference. Um, so, it, I, I know people seem to be skeptical about it, but I for one can absolutely tell you that um, I saw a big difference in him, and I know that he feels a lot different. Um, the reason that he's not here attesting to it is because he has so much more energy that he's out working. He's literally out right now evaluating veterans and diagnosing them for TBIs. He's too busy, he's working, and that's the difference. Um, so he's gainfully employed and um, because his, his diagnosis was not drastic enough for him to be disa disabled or anything, fortunately. Um, but he's also very, very busy and, and able to go on and, and help other veterans. Um, to, and this is something that he truly believes. And after what I've seen in the difference in him, I also truly believe that this is something that we need to offer veterans for their treatment. It, it just doesn't make any sense whatsoever that, that we wouldn't allow the veterans of our country to, to have this opportunity. Our taxpayer dollars are being wasted, wasted. He has seen veterans while we were in private practice and now he's literally seeing these same veterans go through the system for a re-evaluation and they are much worse off. He literally has seen the same veterans for a second time and they are tenfold worse because they're not getting the proper care. They're not getting the proper treatment. If they would be able to have the opportunity to get hyperbaric treatment, they too would be getting the opportunity for improvement in their lifestyle, in their quality of life, in short-term memory. The studies are there. I'm not going to reiterate everything that is, is in the studies. It's, it's successfully being done in other countries. Why would we not allow our veterans the care that, 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 that they deserve? It, it's, I'm, not, I'm not asking, I'm demanding as a taxpayer our taxpayer dollars go toward helping the veterans of our country. We put them in harm's way. We asked and they willingly served. We, they, they deserve this. We owe them this. This is treatment that is working. It's working. And they deserve this. They deserve better than to be thrown out like, like a used dish rag. It's working and they deserve this treatment. Along with a proper diet, I, I just got done writing a cookbook, Eating Your Way to Better Mental Health. 
I just got done writing that. It's it's out in, in some bookstores now. It, it, you, you can download it on Amazon. That's part of the treatment plan. It, 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 an improved diet, hyperbaric, that it's all, it's, it, you know, it doesn't have to be this difficult. And we, and we owe this to them. And I've seen it firsthand. I implore you. I, that's all I ask. Give hyperbarics a chance. I've seen it firsthand. I've seen it with my husband. And I've seen the veterans that come, have come through our clinic and I've seen, they just want a chance. They just, they're in despair. And I've seen them turn to my husband and say, what can I do, help me? And he can't prescribe this to them. He can't, because it's not approved, but it can be, and it should be. And this is where our taxpayer dollars should be going. Not for studies that have already been done, that don't work, not for, for, for drugs or for, for something that's not going to work, not Botox or, or a Band-Aid. Don't treat the, 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 the symptoms for, for, for something that's, for studies that, you know, talk therapy, that, that's not going to help them. This is something that's going to treat the actual injury, the injury to the brain. This is going to heal the brain and it's working, and we have it in our grasp. Please, I implore you, please. And that's, that's, that's all I have to say. I'm, I'm willing to do, to go anywhere, do anything. I, I've, I've seen it firsthand. I've been on the front lines. I've, I've watched the veterans come in to our office. I've spoken with them, I've, I've held their hands, I've looked in their eyes. Hyperbarics can work. And that's, that's what I wanted to share with you. It's my taxpayer dollars. Thank you for listening. Thank you for the consideration. Thank you.